Hey guys, it's John, and today I am finally playing a little game called Year Walk. In the old days, man tried to catch a glimpse of the future in the strangest of ways. They locked themselves in dark rooms, not partaking of food and drink. At the stroke of midnight, they ventured out into the night. They rhymed night with night. Through the dark woods where strange creatures roamed to see if they would be wealthy, to see if they would be happy to see if they would live, to see if they would be loved. Hmm, not sure what all that means. I've been told to play this game repeatedly for about two years now, and I don't know why I haven't done it, and just haven't. So we're gonna play it now. It's a horror game about the snow, winter time, so it's cold out. Figured it would be a perfect time to try this one out. All right, ooh, okay. I've seen this type of uh, side-scrolling point-and-click combo before. There's a path leading north, press W or up arrow key to cross it. Ooh, okay. I gotcha, so when there's like a, an arrow, that means that there's a path I can take. All right, here's the map. Okay, good, this is, this is gonna help a lot. I was about to say, gonna be real easy for me to get lost. So let's go to the left, I guess. This is like a Metroidvania type of map right there. Oh, what is this? There's a box there. I can also... Oh. Can I... Ooh. So this is a puzzle of some kind. I'm not really sure how to solve it at the moment. So I'll back out of it. Got some lumber there. Forward and then can I press M for map? No, <laughs> that would be too convenient. Let's go. Uh, I guess we're gonna go all the way up to the windmill. The rest of the map's kind of cut off at the moment. This is neat. I wonder if there's oh, walking speed can be adjusted. Okay, there's a sign there. Can I read it? Go up here. Where am I on the map now? Okay. Almost to the the windmill. This is a beautiful game, stylistically. It's really cool. Alright, let's go inside. Hello. There you are. I've been waiting for you all day. Little old me? Really? Oh, I gotta click on it. Well, she looks nice. You should not go outside without a hat on a cold day like this. Is this my mother? Am I in trouble? You will freeze your ears off. And I'm quite fond of the person those ears belong to. Aw, thanks. I'm fond of my ears as well. They help me hear things. Did anyone see you coming here? Um, I don't think so. Now you're being silly. You know that I'm not ashamed of you. It's not that... Oh, it's not that. I like you very much, but you and I come from different worlds. Oh, this is my girlfriend. He is waiting for my answer. I said I'd give it to him next year, and this is the last day of this year. Now you're being unfair. This isn't any easier for me. I don't like it when you're like this. Calm down. Me? Am I getting mad? You're walking. I hope you're joking. You do remember what happened to my cousin, don't you? No, please tell me. Promise me you won't do anything foolish. We're not supposed to know what happens in the future. So year walking means I travel in time one year? You should hurry home to your cottage and get some rest. It's getting dark soon, hurry home to your cottage. You should probably go. You should really should hurry home now. Well, what if I decide to stay? Okay, she's just gonna keep saying that to me. That's fine. All right, I'll I'll go home to my cottage then. I think I know the way back. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Should you find yourself lost, clues can be found in the hints menu. Let's uh let's check out the hints. Oh, reveal hint. Head home to the cottage. What a what a classic hint. That really drove the point home. That was a pun? It, it was indeed, and I'm not going to apologize for it. 
All right. I think I'm learning my way around. Cottage, where are you? Oh, I, I missed it. Sorry. There we go. Let's uh go home, I guess. There was a game I played like a year and a half ago that I don't really recommend called Masochesia that this reminds me of. Or I guess since it came after your walk, it, it should remind me of this game. Oh, I'm making the game's logo. That is pretty cool. Did I do it? Pretty neat. I was in there like, is something supposed to be happening right now or? I think that's it. Oh, missed the uh, bottom of the uppercase L. Cool. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what's happening. So, did I just year walk? Am I a year in the future now? How'd I do it? If so. And now the entire map is, is open. Wow, okay. Um, let me check a hint. I want to see what I'm supposed to, supposed to do. Search for the church. It even rhymes. The church. Let me look on my map. Uh, the church is way up there. Looks like... This is an easy way to get up there. Let's freaking do it. Boop. And... Wish there was like a hotkey for the map, but... That's fine. Okay, what is that? It's a symbol of some kind. Looks like a... Fetus? And then some kind of other symbol. Oh no. There's tons of these stones everywhere, aren't there? Yeah, that's that little... Illuminati symbol right there. Let's see, there's one right there as well. Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to remind, uh, remember the shape. There's like a... looks like a person. Hope you can't hear the helicopter outside. That's really annoying. Sorry about that, guys. And then... I got a couple things to check out here. It looks like there's a, a living space I can look at. There's a horse. So we've seen a fetus and a horse with the same symbol underneath them. Can I take this axe as like a weapon? Huh? Okay, let's uh, go inside. Can't light anything up here. Maybe I need to go find a light source first. Hmm. Yeah, seems like it. All right, let's keep uh, heading north. Uh, wherever that is. I guess it's this way. And there's another shack. Hello! Um... Oh! You can turn the head. Interesting. You can't pose it anyway, so it doesn't look like there's a puzzle here that I can solve just yet. Hmm. Oh. What? I need a key. Okay. Can I get it? She has the key. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'll come back here when I have it. This is the only way to the church. Alright. Do I get another hint, by the way? I like hints. You shouldn't give me hints. She holds the key. Follow her song. The Holdra 
waits in the far southeast. Okay. Follow the Holdra. Okay. The far southeast, huh? So like, around, around here? Yeah, I can go that way, sure. Let's do this. Uh... Interesting, interesting experience so far. Let's see, okay, this is good. And then I'll just... There we go. Here's another stone, like the one I found earlier. This one doesn't make a, a shape, though. Oh! I make the shapes that I saw. Okay. Hang on, I gotta reset it. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken... Well, actually, I don't know if I can make the shape that I saw earlier. Huh. Yeah, no, uh... No clue what I'm doing, to be honest. <laughs> I guess I'll come back to this. I think I gotta find find a shape that I can make. So is that the Holdra? Here, let me let me go to the left. I think that there's a spot we can go to down here. Oh, hello. Are you following me or am I following you? I'm following her, okay. So I was checking. So you have the key, right? You got it right there in your in your grubby paws. Let me let me have it, please. Hello. Okay, so she's guiding me somewhere else. So she's the Holdra, not the stone. Sorry for the miscommunication there. Very, uh, ethereal horror game. It shows, it doesn't tell, you know? It's not really even so much horror so far, it's just kind of an adventure game. Kind of reminds me of, like, Journey? Hello, owls. Um... What? Okay. This game's a real hoot so far. All right, I uh, I don't know where to go. I hate to do this, but you know. Oh, the wooden doll in the shed. There were two things on either side. I bet that somehow reveals a pattern in which I need to um, touch the owls, maybe? Here it is, here it is. Found it. Hi. Huh. I screwed it in. Left, right, left, right. 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 Left. Left. Okay. Oh. Is this some reason you're all bloody now? Is that some sort of harbinger of doom that I just uncovered? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do that with the, uh, with the owls. Okay, so, left, right, 
left, right, 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 left, left. So am I year walking? What's going on? That seemed wrong. So I'm not supposed to go there. I'm supposed to make like a song, I think. Hey, okay, so that one's right. Wait, I, I don't think I'm supposed to, like, recreate the song in the background. I think I just have to find, like, what key it's in. Okay, I, yeah, I think it's like you're just finding what key the song is in. I did it, I, I think. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know I was going to be solving like musical puzzles in this. I made it. Hi. Can I get that key now? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I guess that's a no. But, but seriously, I need that key, so... Be good if I could get it. I like that it looks kind of like a... Like a children's storybook. Sorta. It's got that kind of childlike visual to it. Can I please have it? Yes! It melted. What? Um, let me look it up in the encyclopedia. Huh, interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, this is based on Scandinavian folklore. I did not know that, to be honest. I kind of had my suspicions. Talking about the Holdra and stuff. The key turned into water. Where could it be? Probably where there's also water? I'm guessing? Water. Where... Where would water be? A well? Up. Oh. Hey! Here's some water, okay. So how are we supposed to find the key in this thing? It was just kinda... You're not a rock! Hi there. Something's up with you. There's a musical cue. Oh! Hi there. Well, I'll take that. So you had the key, but you're gonna, you're gonna trade it to me for four spirits? Four little baby spirits, huh? They look like little babies. That one's really not happy. Yeah, none of them are really happy. Okay, I'll uh, I'll look around for them, gentleman, horse, thing. Um, okay, where would I find these? My encyclopedia is bloody now. Oh, the the Mylings died at the hands of angel makers. The angel maker would typically be paid by the child's poor mother to find a decent home for the infant. When the mother left, the infant was murdered. Whoa! 
Typically, the Mylings were murdered by their mothers, often unmarried women who had been left to fend for themselves. The Myling would oft, or commonly be left in the woods to die, or they would have been drowned by their mothers in brooks or bogs. Uh, that's the same paragraph. Interesting. Oh, it's cute. What? I'm sorry, do I have one right now? I found it in the encyclopedia page. Oh my god, that, that was cool. A person who helped the Mylings find their way to the other side was often left with a gift, like a key. The Myling would be taken in by other supernatural creatures such as Hobbs, or if it had been drowned, the Brook Horse. So these were all drowned infants. Uh, perfect. That's awesome. Um, where am I gonna find the rest of them? Okay, wait, wait. There was, what is this? Da, 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 da. Okay. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on. I'll get to that. I'll, I'll get to finding the infant ghosts in a second. One of them lit up. So I've gotta get two more. Okay, we're making progress. I like this. I like this a lot. So I'll be on the lookout for more stones like those. I think I've already seen one other. I just didn't realize what it was at the time. Um, there's bloody footprints going this way. Uh, you think something's in there? Cause I, I do. What? Oh, oh, uh. Okay, I gotta, hang on. I think I gotta open up this door. Oh. U and N are the... <laughs> They're the keys that you press. Okay, I didn't, I thought it was just the block said those letters. Hey, I found one. Do I gotta bring it all the way back? I think I do. This is very weird. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Here you go, Brook Horse. I found another one. So I just gotta find two more, right? Okay, well, they've been in fairly intuitive places so far, I guess. If you consider the encyclopedia an intuitive place. It seems like there's a, there's like a a musical cue when one is near. Oh, there's one here too. Okay. Um, hang on. Oh, oh. Okay. I gotcha. There you go, to your rightful home. So we just got one left to find. Oh, I think I found something. Oh. There it is. I got you, buddy. Kind of creepy, but you know, you can't help it. All right, I found you all four. You you owe me a, a weird water key thing. A deal's a deal. Are you gonna melt this time in my warm hands, or are you gonna behave? <sighs> I swear to God. And now the uh, the river is is red, isn't it? Oh. Wow. 
What is it turning into? Uh... Why do I have purple fire now? Oh, I can see into that cave! Can't I? That cave, where's that cave? That was, um... Oh... Was it... Is it here? I think it might be here. Okay, I gotta go up that way, I guess. You're coming with me! We're gonna go look into... The darkness, I guess. Okay, there's a bird. Right. Here we go. Okay. There's another symbol. Uh one, two, three, four, five. I'm I'm not sure what to do with this right now. Click can I click on anything? So there's a bucket, there's this symbol. I need this for some sort of puzzle. It's like two dots right there, and then that is five. One, okay. So it's giving us an order for these symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six right there. Blood, perfect. Uh, that one's four, the scent sign. Saw that on a tree earlier. Oh! Okay, uh, I guess I'll go out. I'm here! Here I am! Up on the hill, finally. Hey, it's dead! But... Give me... Give me the key. You don't have the key anymore, huh? Ooh! Okay, I gotta remember this. There's an X on top and a sideways, uh, sort of diagonal, uh, V on the bottom. Okay, I'll, I'll, I think I can remember that. Oh! Do I get to keep it this time? Oh my god, I gotta carry it all the way to the gate! Okay, let's do this. Um, I'm not gonna be able to take the flame with me. Ooh, it glows! The key glows! Everything remains the same, right? I don't know where that flame went, but we're done with it now. I think I gotta go this way. Maybe? Let me check the map. Oh. Yeah, okay, I got it. No, 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 cut. Key! <laughs> Didn't mean to leave you behind. And then to the right. Please let me in. I need to get to the church for some reason. I never thought I would want to go to church. That's a joke. Just kidding. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Got a bunch of symbols. Oh, wait. Okay, so they've all got to have different circles on them based on the symbols that we saw associated with these on the trees and what those symbols what numbers those symbols are associated with in the hatch area that we just were. Okay, so the girl stays at four, the horse goes to two, and the horse had the same symbol as this little fetus guy, so they're both two. I don't know, I don't remember what this one is, but I'm just gonna try all of them. There's three, that was it. The church looks like it has a little face. Let's go. Oh, that's neat. Look at this. That is sweet. 
What? Okay, I can't go in here. What what happened though? Okay, so there's a symbol there. There's a symbol there. A symbol there. I got it to go off just now. Hang on. That's one. Weird, but like why? Ah, there we go. Okay, now, I think that the third one from the very beginning, I think it was something like, oh crap, I already screwed it up. It was something like that, but it wasn't that. Hmm. I think it was that, but it wasn't with the one on the bottom. So like, I guess that means we have to start at one of these. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Hey, got it! Hello? Okay. This is the order for the church. Left, right, left, right, right. Is it gonna be just like the owls? Left. Right. Okay, I can remember that. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Easy. Breezy, beautiful cover girl. Not a sponsor, thankfully. I don't really even know what cover girl does these days. Alright, um... So we go, we go left. And then we go right. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna just repeat what we were just told. Then we go left again. And then we go right once more. And then, plot twist, we take a right. And then we go back to what we were doing before, left. And then we go right. Freaking did it! We can get inside that church now. Hello! Hello, goat man! Oh. Did I kill it? Well, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. What? What? That was awesome. What am I doing here? Oh. It's too late now. What? What is going on? What do you mean it's too late now? Okay. Stop touching it. If this is all you do, I'm gonna be upset. You just, you were supposed to just keep spinning it. I didn't know that. It can't be changed. Okay, wait, I, I gotta press them in order. One, two, three. 
four, five, six. There's the third of the four symbols. The decision has already been made. Um... It's like a safe combination. That's interesting. You must stop coming here. All right. No promises. Don't love you anymore. What? What? kind of a fucking ending was that? Was that based on like choices I made or? Oh, there's probably two different endings. There's probably one where, there's probably like a love ending and a don't love ending or something. I don't know. That kind of like, <laughs> what a completely different direction than I thought it was going to take. After I killed the goat. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Written it all down. Everything that happened. It can be changed. Aha! You said earlier it couldn't be changed. Deliver the message. The journal. The secret is hidden. North of the mill. What? South of the brook. Remember. A secret. Okay, so, so there's a secret. North of the mill, south of the brook. Well, that's off the map, I'm pretty sure. But I'll, I'll look for it, if that's what you want. Sheesh. Okay, I get it. Walk again? Sure. 
Sure, let's do it. All right. North of the mill, that's this. South of the brook. The brook, that's right there. 1894? The Olm 68. Seems like a username and password. There aren't any computers here, though. Hmm, okay. The Church Grim, that's who we encountered earlier. I never even opened the journal. Um. What the fuck is going on? Okay. This is not, this is not what I was expecting. Theodore's posts. What? There's a there's a shit ton of these, all the way through January first. What appropriate time to play this a couple days after New Year's? Hello, new system. Testing photo upload. Should probably write here more often. Read about every book on Swedish folklore there is. Surprised how little has been written about year walking. Need more sources of information. Is this like the developer? Talk to ES. He suggested some field work. Might be good, but I feel that I might be 30 years too late. Been talking to elderly folks, eating cookies and drinking coffee. Their knowledge about year walking has been limited to say the least. Barely any of them knew what it was. If they did, they had heard stories as children but forgotten the details. Thinking ES sent me on a wild goose chase. Interviews at the retirement home. May I never grow old. The last interview was intriguing if very brief. Talked to one Astrid Jansen. She was over 100 years old, clear at times. Did not know a lot about folklore, but she did claim that her grandfather's brother had once year walked. Sadly, she did not know his name. He had died many years before she was born. Might have to look into it. Her main name was Svensson, which leaves me with a lot of possibilities. She was born in Vedtorp, and I can only hope that her grandfather was as well. Sorry if I mispronounced any of these. I'm not used to pronouncing Scandinavian words. More interviews. Nothing worth mentioning. Professor Asp called today. Professor Asp. This is a Pokemon game. <laughs> Asp is a plant. Tree, I think. He hinted that the faculty wanted to take part in my research. Followed up my visit to the retirement home. In the early 20th century, there were six household in Vedhorp with the surname Svensson, according to the church book. Asher was born in 1913. Her grandfather was named Carl Frederick. He had two brothers. One died in 1942. The other brother, Daniel Svensson, died in 1895. Since Astrid said that her great uncle died before she was born, Daniel was the one that supposedly year walked. A Miller apprentice. Is that me? Going to the library to check out old newspapers tomorrow. Look for reference of Daniel Svensson in old newspapers. I'm grasping at straws. Another day at the library, nothing of interest. Bored, about to give up. Excited, the newspapers finally mention us Daniel Svensson. He was apparently arrested for the murder of a young woman in Bedtorp. That's what just happened! I murdered her! Ah, it clicked. I thought she just died and had, like, bleeding or something. Information is scarce. Her name was Stina Nielsen, and she was a miller's daughter. Her body was found on a, on a field outside the village. She had been stabbed multiple times. The library should be open longer. Hope I can find any reference to his supposed year walk. The motive behind the murder seems to have been jealousy. Not many details. Apparently, Stina was going to marry a Lucas Tapper. She was on her way home from Lucas' parents when she was intercepted by Daniel. She was found the next morning, just 17 years old. I feel a tad guilty about my excitement yesterday. After all, there was a great tragedy behind all this. The press seemed to have lost interest in the case after a while. Found nothing today. Maybe ES can tell me something. Had a long talk on the phone with ES. Who the fuck is ES? Keep using their initials. The murder case was unknown to him. He had, however, spent a lot of time in Vedtorp during the 60s when he studied folklore in the area. There had been a rather peculiar runestone that seems to predate the Viking Age. ES claims that there was a definite connection between the symbols on the stone and year walking. He could not tell how. Want to check it out. Went to the library again in case I missed something about Daniel. Indeed, I had found another article. Feeling upset and a little bit sad. Borrowed the article just in case. 
Perhaps there's more to learn about Daniel. Booked a hotel room in Vedtorp. Arrived in Vettorp. It's a small place. One street cuts through the village. It's a rather depressing place. To be fair, the weather would not do any place justice. The hotel is empty besides me and a group of dog toy manufacturers who are a bit on the noisy side. Muscash chef for the veal recipe. Got a map from the hotel owner. Excited about the archive. Have a feeling that I will find something major. Just got back from the archive. An interesting place. Sadly, it's only open four hours a day. It's understandable since I was the only visitor. Possibly found the files I need. Tomorrow, reading and lots of it. That's what I'm doing too, bud. I knew it. The archive has exceeded my wildest dreams. On New Year's Eve, year 1893, Daniel Svensson did indeed year walk. The court records refer to his year walk at several occasions. I have just started to scratch the surface. There must be beliefs hidden amongst these papers that have been forgotten for ages. Amazing. This is by far the latest recorded year walk. I don't exactly know what a year walk is. Okay, this Wikipedia page says it's a complex form of divination in Swedish folk tradition. The tradition of year walking is predominantly recorded from southern Sweden and was usually practiced at Christmas or New Year's Eve. Okay, um, the year walker was supposed to lock himself up in a dark room without speaking to anyone, nor taste food or drink. At midnight, he or she walked to the parish church or a cluster of different churches and circled it three times or more. Oh, that's exactly what we did. Then he or she blew into the church's keyhole. With this, the year walker temporarily lost his or her Christianity. When this happened, supernatural beings appeared and challenged the year walker. If the walker managed these tests, glimpses of the future could appear, either in vision or by sounds. These could be interpreted as glimpses of what would happen the following year. And the glimpse that we got was of Stina dying being stabbed. Sorry I took so long to look it up. I just, I figured at some point during the game they would kind of explain more what it was and it never happened, so I figured I would do it on my own. Uh, now that that's done, we can continue. I hope I'm excused for borrowing the file from the archive. They gave me little choice since they are closed during the weekend. Could not sleep last night. Too excited by the files. Much of the records are of a legal nature, but there are relevant passages. Daniel claimed he knew that he would murder Stina after seeing it in a vision on his year walk. Sadly, the scribe had not bothered to take it all down and occasionally just refers to it as ramblings of a madman. Poor boy, there are certain elements that are new to me. Must write them down in detail later on. Need fresh air. Ca uh, Daniel's cabin, Solsorten, is briefly mentioned in the protocol. We'll ask around about it. Hope it still exists. All right. Drove around for hours in the forest today. These are woods to get lost in. As for the directions from every local, most people never heard of the cabin. Was about to give up when I met an old man. His aunt had lived there until the 60s. From then, it had three different owners that used it as a summer house until the mid-80s. The last family that owned the cabin only stayed there one summer. Their five-year-old son drowned in a brook nearby, and after that, they had never returned. Nobody has lived there since. The old man's nephew owned the land. I asked the old man if I could pay it a visit. He did not think that there could be anyone that would mind. The cabin is situated deep into the forest. This is a long entry. No sign, no road, just a narrow path. This was the place that he started his year walk over a hundred years ago. Felt overwhelmed by the thought, could not enter. It's a lonely place. The only other building I could find in the area was an underground storehouse. Guess it might have belonged to the cabin. It was too dark to see anything, but I can't imagine there would be anything of significance in there. On my way back to the car, I found this strange box. What an odd thing to leave in the middle of the forest. Seemed to be more or less in mint condition. Could not resist taking it. Tonight, I need whiskey and lots of it. So, this box? We saw that box earlier! October 1st. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about it, honestly, because like I just kind of spun around and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. Found the box when I unpacked. I'd almost forgotten about it. It seems to have some lock-like construction, but I have yet to understand exactly what it is or how to open it. It reminds me of one of those puzzle boxes. The wheels with the symbol suggest it's opened by entering a password. Must be old. Maybe ES knows something about it. Decided not to tell ES about the box. He might not appreciate that I took it with me. He's always nagging me about ethics. Busy week, classes and meetings. The faculty is really getting in the way of my research. Feeling a bit strange. I had weird dreams ever since I came back from Vedtorp. Let's party, Theo. Okay. Dreamt that I was in a vast wasteland. I was searching for the keys to my locker together with Jenny from high school. We laughed and dug in the sand. Suddenly the sky lit up and Jenny pointed to a simple constellation of stars. She whispered in my ear to never forget it. 
I asked her what it meant, but she was dead and her bones were withered and old. Woke up and have been feeling rather queasy ever since. Received an odd email today. This is some no sleep subreddit shit, man. Got over a thousand of these during last night. The emails seemed to have stopped when my inbox was full. Don't know what it could mean. Maybe it's a prank by my students, but they seem too unimaginative to come up with something like this. Don't think it will end here. Is it some kind of threat? Called the priest, told him of my plight. He said that the Vedtorp sometimes had a strange effect on people, but it, it rarely lasted. Do not think he understands. I was going to ask him about the box, but decided to hang up when he suggested I should see someone. Woke up last night, heard baby screams from the, beneath the floorboards. Panicked, managed to pry up some of the floorboards. The screaming stopped. How do I know these things? Are they my thoughts? Am I writing this? I certainly did not draw this, but yeah, it's right there in my notebook. I've been an idiot. Someone is playing with me. These shapes, it's the same as on the box. Did someone see me take it? Tried the symbols I have received, but the box remains shut. There must be more coming. Woke up last night. The telephone rang. Answered. Could not hear anyone. Hung up. It rang again. Answered. Could hear someone speak on the other side. Could not make out what was being said. The voice was too far away. Hung up. It kept ringing. Cut the cord. Bought whiskey. Bought food. People stare. Don't want to go out there again. Too many know who I am. If you break the rules, there will be consequences. He's going nuts! Wish I had not cut the cord to my phone. Need to hear a human voice. Don't dare to go out. At first, I didn't even notice. One of the paintings in my living room has been replaced. Oh, okay. It must have happened during the 30 minutes I slept. Cannot let my guard down. Someone was here or something. Will the antibodies come for me? Am I a virus in the eye of the universe? Boarded up the balcony and all the windows. Nothing can come in now, I hope. Shouldn't be possible, but someone was here again. I'm definitely being threatened. There was a knife on my kitchen table. Old, but sharp? I realize that the knife is his. We are connected. The church is central to this, and yet it is not. Perhaps the church itself is not important, but rather the energy of the place. Perhaps the gate is always there, but it's not a gate. Gates are meant to be open or closed. This is a rift in the fabric of the very existence of everything. But why allow it? Why does the universe or God or someone not shut the gate? If we're not meant to do it, why let us? I can hear the heart of the universe beating. What is happening? Feel like a worm under a big boot. I feel the shadow hanging over me, waiting to be crushed. She sings and I shall follow, the Holdra. She is trying to fool me, that I know, but I must get closer to her because then I get closer to the key that leads to the heart of it all. I didn't steal the box because it begged me to take it with me. <laughs> Daniel survived all the watchers sent by the universe. He was lured by the temptress, brought the innocents to the pale horse, unearthed the parasite, and finally faced the master of them all. And yet he was destroyed. Could it have gone any other way? Was he doomed from the start? Am I doomed? Is the future set or can it be altered? Must help him. It's the right thing to do. There is a bond between us. Might have figured it out. Five watchers. Five symbols. Which means there is one more coming. So tired. Can't seem to hold my thoughts for any period of time. Should probably eat more often. But I must resist. It's important that I come prepared. The heart beats stronger. But I will break it and see beyond everything. In the end, it was the nature of man that got Daniel. Must free myself of all desires. That's how they get to you. Can love really be a weakness, or is it strength? And the poor girl, it just seems unfair. Is there anything I can do? If the future can be altered, why not the past? Am I playing the part of the fool in the cosmic play? And if so, to what purpose? Disconnected the microwave oven, just in case. Okay, that's... Microwave oven's not gonna get you, dude. Feeling absolute terror at the possibility that there is no purpose. No rhyme, no reason to any of it. Why me? The only way I can help him is if I break the rules. It will come at a price. But what do I care if I can rise above it all? Saw her lifeless body. She is beautiful, even in death. Have been crying ever since. It all seems so needless, so cruel. Ready for anything. Don't care anymore. It's finally here, the last one. Woke up with this in my palm. Tried to wash it out. It's a tattoo. Tested them in all different kinds of combinations, but I could not figure out how to do it. I must sleep. I will open that box tomorrow. Of course, so simple. Rotate the wheel and release when the symbol aligns with the grim in the order they were delivered to me. But why was it empty? Huh, I thought it was Daniel all along. I thought he was here, but it cannot have been he who sent me the password. It doesn't make sense. If the box was empty, it means it must be filled. 
I still do not understand who sent the symbols. If it was not the boy, then it must have been the Watchers. But why? Are they toying with us? Helping us in some perverse, twisted way? From the get-go, he was doomed. They got him at the very thought of year walking. But I think the girl can be saved. I put everything he needs in the box and locked it. I will leave it where I found it, where all of this started. If my mind is set on this, does it mean that I am doomed too? The rift is open. It wants me to go through. Packed my things. I wonder if I will come back. Soul sorting. It's cold here. Wish I could light a fire, but I must do it right. Surprised how calm I feel. Only hours remain. It's midnight. Where's the box? Okay, it said the symbols in the order that they were received. So, the first symbol that we saw was the Jenny dream, which would be this one. The second one, I believe, was in the email, which was this one. The third one was the symbol in the notebook, so the square. And then there was, right, the triangle that appeared in the photograph. And then lastly, the mark that appeared on his hand. Shit. Interesting. So he was executed for the murder. Oh, okay. I know I'm supposed to read this, but I just want to... You are long dead when I write this, and I have not yet been born, yet we have a connection be beyond life, death, space, and time. The impossible made possible by your walking, but the Watchers always win. Even though you've not passed through the rift yet, they sense the urge and they want their sacrifice. I wish there could be another way. I am sorry, but for her, there is still hope. You can save her. You know what you must do. That's my I can't believe this shit jazz hands face. Okay, so we got the true ending then. You know, I didn't even think about that box. Wow. Fun, not fun. Awesome game. Yeah, um, wasn't really a horror game, more of kind of just, uh, I guess it was kind of a horror adventure game. But yeah, more of just an experience. I liked it. I, my favorite part was when they got rid of the letterbox and just you got to see the full screen with the symbols and the 3D objects and everything. That was a really cool moment. But yeah, really liked it. Not really sure what to say. Just it was really enjoyable. Uh, I believe it's 10 bucks on Steam. Might be less than that. Check out the description for the Steam store link. Uh, this is also available on iOS and Android, I believe, and the Wii U. I'm not going to walk again, but I liked it a lot. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Hopefully you liked the long full playthrough video. I know that a lot of the second half was just me reading the journal entries, but I thought it was important. And I thought it did a lot to build up um, kind of the world a little bit more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.